What's going on guys, Sir Lionheart here and we are about to hop into yet another playthrough of another Shin Megami Tensei game. We've completed Shin Megami Tensei 4 on this channel, which was my first Shin Megami Tensei game, which was extremely hard for me, but I got through it, I completed the game, and then we moved on to Soul Hackers, which wasn't as hard as Shin Megami Tensei 4, and then after that we went back to Nocturne, to which... Everybody told me Nocturne was just going to be the hardest one, but it was a lot easier than SMT4. Maybe it's because I got used to SMT mechanics when I played my first SMT game. I think everybody's first SMT game will be their hardest SMT game, but I did not find Nocturne as challenging as people made it to be. And then of course, now we're about to play another Shin Megami Tensei game, and that is known as Devil Survivor Overclock which is actually a remastered version of the original Nintendo DS version that came out for this game back in 09 or 08. And this game pretty much includes additional content, just like any other remaster or remade game this day and age. And just to give you a rundown of some of the things they added, they added additional content to the story, they added additional demons to the compendium, and I believe the biggest thing they added to this game was a fully voiced game. So they, almost every line in the main plot of this game that's spoken is literally voiced. But enough talk, what we want to do is finally get off this menu screen and move on to the game itself. So apparently we got a couple of difficulties to select here. The difficulty level only affects battles. The story remains the same. Okay. The original tense combat from Devil Survivor can be enjoyed on normal, which may be difficult for newcomers. Easy difficulty is recommended for those who just want to enjoy the story or for strategy RPG beginners. Be warned that the difficulty said it cannot be changed once the game begins. Alright, and I'm probably just going to choose normal because I feel like I have enough experience to know what I'm doing at this point in the Shin Megami Tensei game. And I've also played Fire Emblem, so, so this wouldn't be my first strategy RPG game. So, we're going to go ahead and click normal and watch the beginning of the game. One born of human flesh. Man is now a race of some power. You, son of man. Oh yeah, play that rocket music, boy. You must face the power you hold. And you must face your destiny as well with the pick of destiny. Play that riff now, dude. Hello? <laughs> hey, Yuzu. I just got an email from Naoya. He wants to know if we can hang out tomorrow. Naoya? Isn't that his cousin? I should be free tomorrow. His cousin? Well, we got cousins in this game. Cousin loving? Though your days be peaceful, the fate of time draws near. I am your judgment. I sundered the tongue of your fathers and shattered their arrogant power. I am Cam Clark. Whoa, Cam Clark, no! <laughs> I can't do this. What was I thinking when she gave me the song? Oh, snap. Can I waifu Haru? Can I waifu this girl? Just take your time. The language of song is boundless. Do what your heart tells you. Let me know in the comments below if I can wife her. <laughs> I'm dropping this playthrough if I, if I can't wife anybody up. So long as the Lord does not live in you, all living beings hold darkness in their hearts. Cause Kingdom Hearts 
is darkness. The summoning vessel is complete. Will you continue to lend us your strength? If I hear Lower Bailey somewhere in this game, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna trip out. Amane is their name. I've done nothing. The primal common tongue summoned them. Besides, I follow no god. This dude looks like the main antagonist in Zestaria. He looks like a creep. <laughs> Look at this creepy ass dude. If you truly wish to be yourself, then rise and fight the darkness within, the demon inside. Special guest star, Dante from the Devil May Cry series. If you have the will to challenge your destiny of battle, son of man, state your name. Oh, is this me? Is this our main character we gotta create? Is this our main character? Oh yeah, alright, so we've got to name this little guy right here. So who are we going to name this guy? I don't know who we're going to name him, man. Um, to be honest, I still haven't thought of a name to give him. <laughs> just like in almost every Shin Megami Tensei game, I never think ahead and just plan on a name. So what I'm going to have to do is most likely speed this up however minutes it takes me, however long it takes me to, to think of a name for the main character of this game. So everybody give me about five minutes. A few moments later. All right guys, so I came up with a name for our main protagonist of this game and I decided to call him Sai and his last name Yanara. <laughs> I swear to goodness, I did not realize what I did until I seen what I put in for the last name. I was like, Yanara, that sounds, that sounds nice. Let me give him the first name, Sai. And then I read it like super fast. I was like, Sayonara. Wait a minute, Sayonara? <laughs> but anyway, I think we're gonna rock this name out. We're gonna rock it out, Sayonara. So let's do that. <laughs> so let's go to the next name. Nickname, we're gonna call him Lion. Of course, we gotta nickname him Lion, dude. The Lion. Or should we call him Big Boss? Oh, we even we don't even have enough uh, letters to call him Big Boss. So let's go ahead and call him Lion and be done with the spelling. Be be done with the name calling, the name making. It literally took me like 20 minutes, guys. I'm not even lying. It took me like 20 minutes to think of a name, and the best I could come up with si was with Sayonara. <laughs> the best I could come up with was Sayonara. <laughs> no, Sayonara. But here we go, Lion. Alright, let's do it. Are you sure? So I've come up with the name Sayonara, and his nickname shall be Lion. So let's do this. As he proclaimed this world, created in seven days, shall be destroyed by the sound of seven trumpets. Uh-oh, is Trumpeteer in this game? I bet you he is. You who have will, fear the numbers your eyes shall see, fear the time left. Yo, check it out. Shibuya 901, Shibuya 901, walking down the street, Shibuya 901, walking down the street of Shibuya 901. It's mid-August. It's almost over, guys! People visiting Tokyo have begun traveling back home. It feels as if there are fewer people about in Shibuya, and I'm already feeling this music. <laughs> Your cousin Naoya. Naoya, huh? So that crazy dude we seen at the beginning was our cousin? That crazy ass dude is our cousin. Your cousin Naoya, with whom you've been living with until a few years ago, suddenly calls for you to meet him outside 901. Hey! Over here! A boy carrying a laptop computer runs towards you. Izzy, what up? Yo, how's it going? What up, dog? Oh, real nice of Naoya to make us meet him outside on a hot day like this, isn't it? So how's your summer been? We usually meet at school, so it feels like it's been forever. Is everything good? Damn, Skippy. 
Yeah, everything's really good. Ah, that's the dude I know. Young guys like us need to be full of energy. Still, I couldn't think of anything to do, so I spent all day on my laptop. <laughs> oh, this is great timing, though, man. I just ran into this problem with my coding. Oh, it has me completely stumped, so I was about to go ask Naoya if he could help. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you guys. What the hell is this? Hey, here comes Yuhu. Yuhu? Don't call me Yuhu. My name is Yuzu. Ugh, will you stop calling me that stupid nickname? Bruh, you want to be called Rika? Because that's what you sound like right now. <laughs> she sounds like Rika. It has to be the same, uh... I think that's Melissa Fawn, I think. Even boys at school call me Yuhu, and it's your fault. <laughs> Yuhu. <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? It's a friendly nickname. And it's not just our class. Some of the teachers actually think your name is Yuhu. Bruh. <laughs> That's because people like you keep calling me that. Ha! <laughs> it's working. Where's Naoya? Huh? Oh, that's right. I ran into Naoya a moment ago, and he asked me to give these to Atsuro and you. He said that something's come up, and he won't be able to make it. Oh, what's up with that? Naoya stood us up. Wait, what did he want you to give us? Here, take them. They were a pain to carry around in my bag, uh -oh. too. Yuzu opens up her bag. The game systems? Aren't these those communication player things? I've seen commercials for them before. They're like, play with people around the world. Oh, you know about them, Yuhu? That's exactly what these are. The name Communication Player is a real mouthful, so people just call them comps. Well, they have email and a web browser, so they're more like cell phones than game systems. Ah, uh, huh, is that so? Now you said you'll all need these, don't let go of them. That sounded kind of shady. Huh? You'll all need? Well, there are three of them. Shady! Shady person alert! Still, why would we need these? I mean, I've got a comp back at my own... huh? Atsuro opens one of the comps and stares at it in wonder. What the? I've never seen this menu. Did he homebrew this? <laughs> what? Do you mean he made this himself? Is that even possible? Huh? Don't you know, Yuhu? Now he is famous among us programmers. He's a genius. Something like this would be no problem for him. Huh. I had no idea. Is he really that good? Hmm, I can't open this folder. Looks like it's protected. Protected? You mean, it's set so other people can't mess with it? We can't look inside, then. Hmm... Asuro can crack it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Good thing I brought my laptop along. Asuro connects the comp to his laptop and begins typing furiously. Yeah. Huh? H hey, Atsuro, what are you doing? Something illegal, I bet. <laughs> what does it look like? I'm gonna hack this folder wide open. Yep, illegal. You're hacking it? Hey, now you're just gonna be angry if you do that. It's not a big deal. Huh? Are you sure about this? You don't get it, Yuhu. Now you're my teacher. If he took the time to call me up and give it to me. That means he wants me to break his protection scheme. It's like a friendly greeting. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to think about it. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why can't he say hello like a normal person? Do you have you seen his face? Do you see how fucking creepy this guy is? Obviously, he ain't gonna think the same as everybody else. Let's take a look here. What's his encryption scheme this time? <laughs> Isn't this intense? No, only someone like you would find this exciting, Atsuro. Hmm. Ha! There we go. Now you can at least check your mail for now. Here, these are yours. Atsuro gave you a comp. Thanks, bruh. Can you mod mine so I can record footage off of it? Read through an email to mark it as red. You will need to reach the bottom of the email to close the email viewer. From the observer, subject, Laplace Mail. Good morning, here's today's news. 
At around 1600 hours, a man will be killed in a Shibuya Kuayama apartment. The wounds on the corpse are consistent with an attack by a large carnivorous beast. A large explosion will occur in Minato Kuayama at 1900 hours. The cause is unknown. At 2100 hours, a blackout will affect the entire Tokyo metropolitan area. Have a nice day! What is this? It's predicting the future. At around 1600 in Shibuyaku Aoyama, a man will be killed? Oh my god. He'll be attacked by some carnivorous beast. Uh, what kind of news is this? That's so creepy. Yeah, that is creepy. It's just the news. The text is strange. Hey, that's not the point. It also said there will be a blackout in Tokyo today. What is this? It says it's today's news, but none of this has happened today. Why would now you put a lock on this? Ooh, maybe it's code for something. Well, maybe it's something supernatural. Aoyama. Aoyama. Hmm. Naoya's place is near there, but is that important? That's enough. This is way too creepy. I bet now you knew you would tinker with the comps and play a trick on us. I don't know. He's amazingly smart, so I think he must have meant for this to happen. Hmm, I can't figure it out from just this. I'll try the rest of these files, too. I'm gonna go find somewhere I can think. Go kill some time. Oh, you can take the comps. Some of their functions still work, so you might as well try them out. See you later, okay? Atsuro leaves the area to take a closer look into the comp. I bet it's all just a prank. Atsuro always acts like such a kid with stuff like this. Um, what should we do? Why don't we wander around until Atsuro's done? Let's do it. Me and Yuzu leave the 901, searching for some fun. What should we do? What should we do? Maybe break out the water guns. We can go kill some time in Shibuya, go to the church and scream, Hallelujah, I'm okay either way, just say we can spend our days with our arms raised. Summer, 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 summer time. In Shibuya 901, hacking comps and having so much fun. It's so easy, you can do it. <laughs> it's so easy, you can do it. <laughs> I need to calm down, dude. I, I just need to calm down. I'm sorry, guys. And I apologize. Uh, for a moment there, my mic kept muting itself because I kept bumping into it because the way I'm recording everything right now is like literally the, the most ghettoest way possible you could record. So what we want to do is pretty much select the destination from the list to move there and advance the story. You can press the X button to open up the cop menu. Alright, look at that. From the cop menu, use the menu icons to access various functions. To save the game, select the save icon here and bring up the save menu. And what I've noticed so far, the uh, bottom screen actually... I want to say, a lot, of the, a lot of the events show on the bottom screen, which is completely weird because it's usually the top screen that has the main information, the main events happening on the top. But they're just showing at the bottom, which is well, completely different than what I'm used to. More help text can be found at the bottom of the touch screen. Now press the X button to access the comp's main screen. Alright, so what we can we can look at profile information. Alright, look at that. 18 or he's 17. Atsuro Kihara. High school classmate and best friend of Sai, acquainted with Naoya through programming forums online before meeting Sai, striving to become a programmer, calls himself Naoya's, Naoya's number one apprentice. Really? What is ha what's his handle, I wonder? I guess he'll get one later in the game. Yuzu Tenakawa, childhood friends with Sai since grade school, also knows his cousin Naoya. Still friends with Sai now that they're in high school together, and Sura likes to call her Yuhu. Yuhu. You. <laughs> Incoming messages can be read here. Select an email and open it by pressing the A button. Press the left and right on the control pad to switch between the email folders. Alright, no other mail other than the observer. Oh, you get titles in this game. Look at this. Oh, look at that. They actually give you the, um... 
the circumstance in which you need to uh, get this title. Prevent a certain someone's death. So we can actually prevent deaths in this game. But at the same time, people can also die, apparently. So this is actually going to be um, interesting. So we got to prevent one, two, three, four. Four people's death, huh? Learn of the go government's final option. What the? Protect Tokyo on Yuzu's eighth day. What? Register all demons except those that are special. Achieve 100% completion of the compendium. Learn all the skills that can be cracked. Finish the game in a certain way. Damn, that's very uh vague. Finish the game in a certain way. Finish the game with no free battles. Whoa. Finish the game without any deaths. Whoa. Defeat a whims a whimsical ghost. Defeat an old man who controls time. Rowan? <laughs> we gotta defeat old man swag? Defeat a soldier of the netherworld. Defeat a marks from hell. Of hell. I don't know how to say that. A marquise? Defeat the fallen star. The fallen star. It's one it's a it's a persona that I know I bet. Movement fast. No, let's keep it normal. Message speed maybe top speed. Message skip. The L and R button. Yeah, I guess we'll want to do that. Just in case we die and we want to skip cutscenes. You damn right I'm keeping the voices on, dude. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is actually save the game to the third slot. And what I'm going to pretty much do... You know what? 30 minutes of this game, like, a lot of those... A lot of the minutes I've occurred here pretty much came from me trying to create a name <laughs> for my dude so that's pretty funny so what I'm gonna do here guys is take a short break and once I come back we'll be back with more devil survivor overclock so I'll see you guys in a few seconds